Dan Willis here on behalf of YourBadCreditCard.net and we're talking about how to deal with debt collectors. And the very first point we want to mention is it is so vital to know your rights, especially when you're dealing with these harassing, insulting, obnoxious, and abusive debt collection agencies. Uh, these agents cannot harass you, they cannot insult you, they cannot curse at you, they cannot threaten legal action. There are some very strict and very specific guidelines that they must follow which are actually laid out this was such a big issue in this country that these guidelines that the collection agencies must follow Congress took note and passed a law, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, which regulate and place rules on collection agencies. Uh, if these collection agencies break these rules, please go and report them to the FTC. The big collection agencies are fined on a very regular basis, and there's been fines of millions of dollars. They cannot do whatever they want. Uh, you have some very clear-cut rights and one of those is not being able to contact you at your employment at your place of employment they can't talk with your debt about anyone other than you your spouse or your attorney if you request through a cease and desist letter that they stop contacting you then they must comply with that and stop contacting you uh, the second point we want to mention is requesting debt validation really if you're on the phone there's very little to nothing good that can come from speaking to collection agents. Bottom line, period. You can request debt validation and you can do it over the phone, but the, the chances are them complying with that are, you know, I wish you the best with it. Instead, I would encourage you to do it by written certified mail. And what this does is it places the burden of proof on that collection agency. They'll have to respond to you by providing you and showing you legal documents and evidence that they own your account, your accounts within the statute of limitations, and that your debt is legal and legitimate. You're not responsible for most of your debt, most debts period for forever, you are responsible for a number of years, but it's there's only a few exceptions to that. Most debts after about seven years are usually forgiven. Uh, the third point we want to recommend and suggest is please avoid a judgment. Uh, the frequent course when it comes to debts and unpaid debts is it'll go from one collection agency, they'll try and collect from you. If they can't collect from you, they'll sell your debt account to another collection agency. This new collection agency will hit your credit report with another negative item and they will try and collect from you. If they can't collect, they'll sell it to yet another collection agency and eventually and it really depends on the size of your debt how many collection agencies get it but eventually somewhere along the lines regardless of the size a very common recourse for collection agencies is to file a civil lawsuit against you and many folks don't appear in court because they're being sued by a company that they've never done business with a company that they're unfamiliar with a company that is suing them for some debt that they claim they owe them they've never heard of this company so they typically don't show up if this happens and the collection agency wins that judgment by default you'll have a judgment put on your credit report which will absolutely destroy your credit score and depending on where you live you could have your wages garnished to pay this judgment back and the 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 truth of the matter is Many of these judgments, the collection agencies don't have the full, they don't have the documents, one, two, it's not uncommon for collection agencies to just kind of push things through the works, like one, they don't have the documents, two, your debt might already be past the statute of limitations, and it's, we please visit yourbadcreditcard.net we've created a free report the seven super simple steps to clean your credit and please also when you visit that we'll put a link in the description below but please check out the fair debt collection practices act because this law is passed to protect you just because you owe money doesn't mean you're some second class citizen and just on a side note walt disney uh the founder of buick the founder of folgers coffee all of these individuals went through severe financial 
financial trouble and actually declared bankruptcy. You know, your debts don't define who you are. It is okay. It is, you know, don't feel like you're some second-rate citizen. This is perfectly natural and perfectly normal. And really, if you're in financial trouble, use it as fuel for hunger to really create the life and the success that you know you're capable of and that you know you can create. This is Dan Willis, and looking forward to talking to you again soon.